Welcome back, guys. This is the kid who plays magic, and I'm about to open the second intro pack, the Tall Van Depths of Power intro pack that is blue and red. Alright, so, here's the deck, and then we have the two packs, and the how to play guides and whatnot. So then we have the two packs here, so we'll get started with uh, the uh, deck. Alright, so obviously we get Tall Van right off the bat. Um, yeah, he's really insane in Delver decks because Delver decks do contain a lot of instant and sorceries, and he makes you do flyers every time you cast one, and so he's just really insane in that deck. So I'm hoping to build a deck with him in it, so really happy about that card. Alright, Kraken Hashling. Basic one mana zero four, and it doesn't have defender, which I think is really a bonus because if you pump him up somehow, it's it would have a lot of toughness, and that could be huge. So three of them, Augur of Bolus, really good in decks that have a lot of instant and sorcery cards because you get to put them into your hand, so it's really good. And two mana one three defender isn't bad by itself. I mean, not even defender actually, so. Two of those. Fog Bank. This is a defender and it is an insane defender because it just blocks and blocks and never stops blocking unless your opponent has like murder. So, one of those. Scroll Thief. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So basically, 3 mana for 1 3 with a curiosity. So, not terrible. Two of those. Windrake. Basic. Three mana, two two flyer, pretty good. Three of those. Archaeomancer, excellent card return and send a sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Four mana for one two, really good card. Mindclaw Shaman, really good at casting instant noise sorceries. Really good with tall man because you get to make a two two flyer as well, so not bad. Two of those. Harbor Serpent. 6 mana, 5-5, five, five, island walk, and it can't attack unless you have 5 or more islands on the battlefield. Or there are you or your opponent. So, it can be a little tough to get it to attack, but if it attacks, it is pretty huge. So, that's a plus. And then Stormtide Leviathan is the other rare. Really good card. Uh, 8 mana for an 8-8 eight, eight island walk. All islands are... All lands are islands in addition to their other types, and creatures without flying or island walk can attack. So this enters the battlefield, you pretty much win, unless the opponent has an immediate answer. So really good card. Then for the lands, Evolving Wilds, bunch of islands, and some mountains. And then for the other spells, Elixir of Immortality. Um, basically, really good at getting stuff from your graveyard back into your library, and you gain 5 life. So now, that's pretty good for 3 mana. Hydro Surge, basically, you stop one of their attacks, and if you block it, you might get to destroy it, so not bad. Unsummon, standard, weaker Vapor Snag, but still a pretty good card. Smelt, destroy target artifact. So, yeah, pretty good card. Ring of Evo style green and blue decks because it gives them hexproof and makes them bigger. So, not bad. All of the rings are pretty good. But, uh, Essence Scatter, uh, counter target creature spell, pretty good. And then, obviously, we also have Negate, counter target non creature spell. So, basically, if you have both of them in your hand, you get to counter. 
basically one or the other, so that's pretty good. Searing Spear, it's a two mana lightning bolt, which is a lot worse, but it's not a terrible card, but it could be a lot better, in my opinion. So, three of those. Divination, standard, three mana to, three mana to draw two cards. Uh, this has been reprinted a lot more times than it probably should have. But yeah, it's standard issue. So, two of those. Rewind. I like this reprint because it's basically a free counter. Because you get to untap the four lands that you use to pay it. So, really good card. Sleep. Excellent control card. You tap all their creatures, and those creatures don't untap during that player's next untap step. So, in other words, you get two free combat steps, which is pretty nice. Torvan's Invocation obviously goes in the deck, makes two blue, t makes two, two, two blue drake creature tokens with flying, and for four mana, that's pretty good. So, two of those. Switcheroo, five mana, exchange control of two target creatures. It could be pretty good. You give them a creature that hurts them, and you give it, and you get a creature, so not bad. And then the last card is Turn to Slag. Deals five damage to target creature, destroy all equipment attached to that creature. Uh, originally printed as Scars of Mirrodin. Uh, I think it was better then with all the artifacts and stuff. But not that great now because there aren't a ton of artifacts now because the swords are going out. The artifact creatures from Scars Block are going out. But still an okay card. So then, let's get on to the two packs. And like the last video, I'll just flash through the commons and go straight and go to the uncommons and rares and foils if I get them. Alright, Switcheroo is the first uncommon. Mindclaw Shaman. Knight of Glory, nice. I need that for my exalted deck that I'm trying to build. And the rare, another Phylactary Vich. If you watched the last video, which hopefully you did, I got one of these. So this is a really good card in mono black, especially if you're running like Ring of Zathrid. This could be really good. And then Tips card and Swamp. So not a bad pack, actually. I really like Phylactary Vich. Lich. Um, might put it in my zombie deck, because it does run a lot of black, and it does run some artifacts, so it could be pretty good in there. Alright. Alright. Uncommons are Furnace Whelp, Angelic Benediction, pretty good Exalted card, Cower and Fear, and Touch of the Eternal. Uh, could be useful in EDH. Not sure. It's pretty bad in uh, constructed, but yeah, and then a goat token, best token in the set. So yeah, two rares were Touch of the Eternal and Flactory Lich. I keep pronouncing that as something else, but yeah, overall I'm pretty happy. Uh, I got Tallvand, obviously, and he's an amazing card, and Flactory Lich for my zombie deck. So overall, I like the product, like I said last video. And remember to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos. See ya.